This is my 60 gallon contest tank. It would be entering in uh, IAPLC this year, 2024. I went for diorama style. And I recently just put the uh, Chigiros, baby too. I also purchased all the plants today from Planet Aquaria in Oakville, Ontario. For filtration, I'm running a Oase Biomasker Thermal 600. Let's take a closer look at this gate. One big main tree on Frodo stone. It's like a tree sitting on a cliff with a fallen tree. Sorry about the fog. This is going through. It's been going through the dry start for a couple months. Here's all the plants. We got some Rotella rotundifolia, Plutonia, Palustris, some Monte Carlo, Saragini repens, Liliopsis, Marsilia brusata, some Hygrophila pinnatifida, then I have Limnophilia in the pot. This is some mini boosts on a three inch mat. Forgot the name of this one. Let me know if you see it in the comments. Let me know in the comments. And dwarf hair grass. And I have four pots of cryptocorin parva. I also have more pots, more plants that I'm going to use. A little planet chamber in the sump. Some crypt, Albita Brown. Some like Bulbitis, Anubias, Boos, Trident Fern. I'm gonna start preparing these plants. I'm gonna start off with the Rotala and do all the stem plants first. This is all from Tropica on to grow. I just like to rip this off into little portions. Start putting the dwarf hair grass in. More for accent spots.
not necessarily a carpet. You plant it, make sure you push it deep in. It'll grow out. You also gotta make sure you mist everything, keep everything wet. If not, it's all gonna dry out and die by the time you fill up the tank. And it'll be just a big waste of money and you gotta start all over. So just keep everything nice and wet. I do it every 10, 15 minutes. I come through with the mister. Just make sure everything's wet. Still have more planning to do, but I'm just getting in there. Hard to record it and plant at the same time. I prefer to just plant it and then I'll record little progresses after. The thing that's really cool is behind this log is hollow. So I'm gonna have a plant that grows up. Probably get a better view from the other side. plant, a terrestrial plant from here and have it grow up a whole piece of wood. All right, starting with the rhizome plants, Anubias. All this Anubias I actually had in my sump. So there's still some. I still have more Anubias here. More a bunch of booze, some bulbitis, some trident fern, not much. But I probably take some trident fern out of this one. Alright, the planting's all done. Starting to fill it. This nice little slot, you just stick the hose in, it's not gonna disrupt anything. It just runs down, trickles off the rock. of Anubias and Boos in here. Basically Anubias and Boos on the first third of the tank with a couple of Monte Carlos Crib Parva to mix in. There's going to be a little section right over here that's dwarf baby tears with Crib Parva surrounding it. It'll look like a little field in the background. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Next will be set up my filtration, CO2 kit, and pump the CO2 on high for the next few days with daily water changes. For the first week, maybe two weeks, I'll do daily 50% water changes with high CO2 and then slowly I'll bring that CO2 down and then reduce the amount of water changes to every two days and three days and then start adding livestock after that. Hopefully with the dry start method that I, that I did, you can see moss sticking on. I didn't want a lot, just a few spots, it'll start spreading. base of the trunk. It's 
It's gonna grow nice with some mini boosts mixed in with it. I wanted to keep short plants mainly on that side, except for the stem plants I have, the limit field that I have there, which isn't visible from the front, but more for nutrient export. Next uh, clip you'll see, tank will be full, and I'll start the filtration. All right, here it is two days after planting. It's all cleared up. It's the hollow log that everybody loves. Fish are gonna love it. Can't wait to see how they interact with that. See the mini boosts coming out of a hole in the log. That'll all be covered with moss. Water still looks like Sprite with all the CO2 I'm pumping in there right now. Let's check the side. Plants look like they're already growing. All perked up now. Let's check the other side. This little piece of wood here, it's only visible from the reflection. You can see it there on the right. Another week, I'll, I'll have fish in this tank. Don't know what kind yet. If you have any ideas, any recommendations, let me know in the comments. What fish will suit this. All right, thanks for watching.